Okay, um, in the last two videos, we had taken time to derive these two hyperbolic identities. Now we want to use this information to derive the hyperbolic identity for the hyperbolic tangent of x plus y. And that's going to be, of course, this divided by this. So now we're going to have this whole expression divided by this whole expression. So it looks like we have our work cut out for us. We're going to say hyperbolic tangent of x plus y will equal, and let's do it like this. Um, we'll have this divided by this denominator plus we'll have this divided by this denominator. So let's see, we'll have this denominator This term here, the hyperbolic, hyperbolic sine of x times the hyperbolic cosine of y plus, now we're going to have this divided by this whole expression here. This is x hyperbolic cosine of y plus and then we'll have this okay um, so we really haven't done anything we've just kind of written it out let's see what we have here this is hyperbolic sine of x hyperbolic cosine of y um, hyperbolic cosine of y hyperbolic cosine of x if we maybe we're something that we might divide p by that might simplify this here um, what if we went ahead and divided everything by this term right here? This would give us a 1, plus we have this term divided by this. Look up here in the numerator, we'll have this divided by this. These would cancel out. We have a hyperbolic sine or a hyperbolic cosine. That would be a hyperbolic tangent. Let's try that and see where it takes us. So we're going to say this will equal and we're going to divide everything by this. So for the numerator, we're going to have this divided by this. This is just going to be 1, and 1 plus hyperbolic, these are both hyperbolic sine functions, and these are both hyperbolic cosine functions. And this is just 1, so this is the hyperbolic sine of x divided by 1 plus hyperbolic tangent times of x times the hyperbolic tangent of y. So it looks like this is going to simplify quite a bit. 
before we do that, let's look at this side now. Here we have plus and up here we have this. Yeah, and if we divide it through by this term here, we're going to have hyperbolic tangents. And up on here, um, these were divided into 1, we have the hyperbolic tangent of y up here. Looks like that will simplify too if we divide everything through by this. So let's do that and see what we can get out of it. So we have this. And now we're going to divide everything by this. So about it cosine of y. Okay. This divided by itself, of course, is just going to be 1 plus we have this term. Divided by this. All right, now this is just the hyperbolic tangent of x divided by one plus hyperbolic tangent of x times the hyperbolic tangent of y. plus, that's just 1, so we have the hyperbolic tangent of y divided by 1 plus hyperbolic tangent of x times the hyperbolic tangent of y. And the denominators are the same. So let's keep right on going. This will be, we can say that the hyperbolic tangent of x plus y equals divided by 1 plus And there it is. Um, it wasn't so bad after all. And in fact, it looks like, um, check it out to be sure, but it looks like this is identical to a string tonka part. But anyway, there it is. When we first started out, it looked like it was going to be pretty bad because we had to do the expression of these two terms here. Um, but once we worked through it, it wasn't so bad after all, and that's the final expression that we get. Um, so that's it for this video. Come back and join us for some more videos, and we'll try and pop through some more identities.